Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss one very important and interesting use case in which you actually have to write, uh, you have to build a hash table for a custom class. Okay. I mean, the key of the hash table is a custom object. It is not a standard data type like string. Okay. So we will see how you can use an ordered map when the key is of a user defined type. Okay. So for example, you want to solve a problem where you want to make a hash map or an unordered map where the key is of the type student and the value is of the type int. Let's say you want to store the marks of that student and the value. Okay. Let's call it as H. Okay. So we will see if you have a custom class in the key. Okay. Then what do you need to do? Okay. So there are actually two things that you need to do. One, the very first thing is you have to define your own hash function. Okay. You have to write your own hash function. Second, in the student class, you have to overload the double equal to operator. Why? Because uh, when you are traversing the linked list, when you are uh, traversing the linked list inside the hash map and you are given a key. Okay. Let's say key is some student. Let's say student name is Pratik Narang. So maybe it is possible that multiple students have uh, the same name Pratik Narang, but maybe two students will have a different roll number. Okay. So let's say 56 and 61. So you need to actually compare if you are searching for a Pratik Narang whose roll number is 61, you will not stop at this point. You will actually stop at this point. So you have to define a comparison if two students are equal or not. Okay. So you have to set a criteria. How do you compare two keys? Okay. So when the two keys are equal that you have to define and that should be defined inside the class in which you are doing. Okay. So we will uh, do operator overloading at this point and we will see how to define your own hash function. Okay. So I will come to it. So let's start by writing in some code that will make the things more clear to you. Okay. So yeah, what we are, uh, I have done till now is I have, um, made four students and you can see there is a student Rahul Kumar and two students have the same name Rahul Kumar, but they have a roll number, which is different. Okay. So this is different. Okay. So for very first thing I will do is I will define this operator double equals to in my student class and here I will compare two persons. Okay. Okay. So, okay. So this operator is defined inside this class. You can also define it outside the class. Okay. So how do we compare two students? So we need to compare roll number of our current student that is roll number with the student we are given. So we can say, uh, if this roll number is equal to S dot roll number, we can say return true. If the roll number is same, that means the two students that we are talking about are same. So that's it. And the next thing that we need to do is to define a hash function. Okay. So you can say, uh, class, uh, some hash function that we need to define. Okay. So it's a, it's your class. Okay. You can define any hash function inside this and in the public, this class must have one method and that method should return a number of this type. Okay. So size underscore T is a, uh, unsigned int type of data type and it's there in C plus plus and it is used to represent uh, size of some memory in bytes. Okay. So we will overload this particular operator. So this is the way to uh, do operator overloading in this case. Okay. So we have also seen this in priority queue also. Okay. So what I need to do, I, I need to define how to compute hash value of a particular person. So I will accept uh, or any particular student. So const student 
and s and just taking that student by reference so i need to define how do i uh, find out the hash value of that particular student okay so maybe let's also make this a const function so i can say return um, s dot first name dot length okay so there can be multiple ways so this is just one way to convert a string into an integer so very simple way i'm just adding the lengths of the first name plus second name let's say uh, last name okay i'm not considering roll number because uh, roll number is going to have same length or you can do something like um, sum of ascii values of that particular roll number something like that you can add okay but in this case i'm just making a very simple hash function so if the two two names have a same length they are likely to collide okay so rahul kumar is going to collide with rahul kumar in this case so this is the hash function okay now we have to tell our hash map that you have to use this particular hash function okay so what i'm going to do in this case uh, when i'm going to define an unordered map i'm going to say this map will have student it value will be of the type int and hash function will be hash function okay and let's call this map as student map so this is where you need to supply in the hash function okay and now we can just uh, add these values to our hash map so add student and their marks to hash map okay so i can say student map of s1 equal to let's say he has 100 marks student map of s2 120 marks student map of s3 let's say 11 marks student ma map of s4 let's say 45 marks okay now let us try to iterate over all all students so for auto s belonging to student map i can say okay see out s dot first name and let's say roll number s dot roll number and l so let's try to run this code okay unordered map was not declared so hash include okay unordered map Oh, okay 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 so this uh, this is actually a pair so s is a pair this should be s dot first dot first name and s dot first dot roll number and if you want to see the marks then they will be given by s dot second so that should be the value of that student okay so we are getting one error uh, in this function so one thing that we should try is we should make this function as a constant function because uh, we are not changing any data members of the class inside this function okay so let me run the code again and see okay so you can see this is working fine so we are able to iterate over all the keys so there are two pratiks 
and uh, both have different roll number and different marks and similarly there are two rahuls both have different roll number and both have different marks and now you can uh, also find for any student object for example if you want to find this rahul kumar who's find the marks of this rahul kumar whose roll number is 120 you can simply say um, um, see out m dot oh, you can say student map dot find s4 and this is going to return a pair and you can say dot second okay something like that okay okay yeah. or you can say student map of s4 that will give you the student okay and if you want to get the marks you can say dot second so suppose i want to get the marks of student s3 they should be 11 so i can say dot second okay so this is how we can search we can also use a count function to check if this particular student is present in the map or not so we should get an output as 11 in the first row Oh, okay so uh, dot second is not needed because uh, student map of this all, all already returns the value okay and value in this case is an integer so this is how it should be done find the marks of student s3 okay so you can see uh, we are getting 11 and this is working perfectly fine so i hope you guys understood the concept of uh, operator overloading why do we need operator overloading in this case and how do we define a custom hash function okay so thanks a lot see you guys in the next video